All right, what's up, guys? Tech242 here. Uh, I don't know, I find it kind of interesting because uh, I'm into programming and uh, I'm uh, doing Algebra 2 now, so I do need one of these, but I have a TI-84 plus CE. Where's the on button down here, right? I'm still getting used to it. Let me get that focus. Maybe shake it a little bit. Uh, there we go. So, Texas Instruments. Press alpha to, oh, we don't need that. So we just hit two to continue, or here I'll put one. I like the way this looks too, okay? And uh, it's, you know, your normal calculator, uh, you know. Uh, no, that's not valid, let's see. Okay. Minus six. You get the idea, right? It's a calculator, but as you can see by the green indicator up here, it's uh, it's color. So I'll make a tutorial soon in the upcoming days. I do have school, so it's a little bit difficult sometimes, you know, to make videos during school and stuff. So maybe on the weekend, uh, I have some free time right now. So I will make a tutorial, but today we're gonna be checking out some games. Uh, archive them, archive them, or whatever. Uh, it's clear. I actually want to. So if you hit second and the plus sign, you know, or it, mem, we can see if I go to two, right? Uh, clear makes you go back, but right now we have RAM free. We have 135 kilobytes, right? But ARC or archive has like 1.2 megabytes of storage. That should be 1.8, but I have like 600 kilobytes of games right now, which is a decent chunk of the memory. But I'm keeping it all in archive because I'm not exactly sure how it works. I don't think the RAM turns off or Maybe it does, but there's like another storage that programmers can't access. But I can actually store the games in RAM. Um, that's why this page exists for RAM free and ARC free. Uh, so don't know how exactly how that would work, but I have to figure it out. So I initially thought you could only fit like one or two games. You can fit a lot. So I have nine right now. And number nine here, or TI Boyce, is actually a, a, um, it's an emulator for uh, Game Boy, the like Game Boy only, just the Game Boy, like the black and white one. So I guess we'll start off with that nine. Okay, that's the command, and then you hit enter. So now we have load new ROM, and here I can have more games. Uh, these are Game Boy games. You can get them off of ROMs Mania. Dot cc. I'll put a link for that, um, or I'll just put it in the in the tutorial video. But if I had more than one, I could. They'd all be listed here. They wouldn't be listed in the programs menu. And then I hit second. Okay, there you go. And there's no audio, obviously, because the calculator. But this is still really epic never played Pokemon before, like not even the card game, so I'm not really going to be good at this. But let's see what happens. Okay. Red, yeah, this is red. Uh, I might get blue, so, you know, red and blue. But it's in color. Okay, so second, maybe? No. Oh, wait, okay, that was it. Uh, yeah, new game. Second is our action key. Hello there, welcome to the... World of Pokemon. My name is Oak. Please call me the Pokemon Prof. This world is inhabited by creatures called Pokemon. For some people, Pokemon are pets. Others use them for fights. Okay, well, I know that, so myself. I study Pokemon as a profession. First, what is your name? Uh, sure, let's just do Ash. Okay. Right. So your name is Ash. This is my grandson. He's been your rival since 
you were a baby. Or um, what is his name again? John. That's right. I remember now. His name is John. Ash. Your very own Pokemon legend is about to unfold. A world of dreams and adventures with Pokemon. Oh, wait, so let's go. Okay, now, what, oh, what, what is this? So I'm assuming I... Oh, sick. Okay, so... So the blue uh, second key, it's not focusing right now. Focus? There we go. There, I was there for a second. Come on. I'm trying to... There, uh, I was there. Ah, I keep... Maybe I should just keep it really still. There we go. So what's this? I think this is like the TV here. Oh, I keep moving it because it's in my hand. Ash is playing the SNES. Okay. It's time to go. Oh. What's this? Ash turned on the PC. Oh, wait. Yeah, log off. Whatever. This. Oh, okay. I thought it was the screen was just in the corner. I guess that's just how the game is. Okay, so we go on the stairs. Who is this? Mom. Right. All boys leave home someday. It said so on TV. Prof Oak next door is looking for you. Where's the door? I bet it's... Uh, is it down... Is it this rug? Okay, it is. Who's that? I'm raising Pokemon too. When they get strong, they can protect me. Cool. Sign. Pallet Town shades of your own journey await. Well, she, well, she said next door. So this? Who is this? Hi, Ash. John is out at Grandpa's lab. Well, I don't care about John. <sighs> well, then, next door must be right here. No, this looks like a library. Yo, Ash. Gramps isn't around. Who's this? Technology is incredible. You can now store and recall items and Pokemon as data via PC. Sure. <laughs> I can't walk there. So I have to go this way? Oh, I can't go this way either. So then where do I go? Up? I can't go up. It doesn't let me go up either. So I don't know where I'm... So oh, up here. Hey, wait. Don't go out. Oh. It's unsafe wild Pokemon live in tall grass. Oh, I've heard of that before. Okay. You need your own Pokemon for your protection. I know. Here, come with me. I wish there was like audio somehow, but there's like no way. I know the original game had audio, but... Okay, so there's like a ton of dialogue. I don't want to play this anymore because I want to show you guys like other games that I have. Okay. I want to wait until like dialogue stops. Alright. Oh gosh. You know what? I'm just going to stop it right here. <laughs> this is going to go on. Oh cool. Okay. So we hit clear. If you hit clear, you need to hit again. That happens. If you hit mode, I'm pretty sure it pauses. Oh, never mind. Yeah, that's just the menu. Cool. So if you hit clear, it goes into the menu. Uh, TI Boy CE Alpha version 0.1.3. And there's the website for the GitHub if you guys want to check it out. And then um, there's some save slots, graphics options, control options, all that stuff. Emulation options. We're going to choose exit TI Boy CE or exit the emulator. So hit enter. And we're back here. You know, you can do four times four. 16 right so we're back uh, if you hit PRGM you go back here so let's just go in order now um, these are the apps or games I have so AGD it's uh, geometry dash I've already tried this level a little bit focus there we go dry out and then you have stereo madness so this one is pretty simple it only has really one key 
And uh, hitting clear anytime during the game just kills it. Um, sometimes the screen gets messed up, but it doesn't matter. Just RAM getting messed up temporarily. So you hit second. Hit enter? Okay, never mind. Hit enter. But you hit second. Oh, you, you hit second. And, or, what? Oh, okay, that was weird. Okay. I should probably be looking at the screen because this is a... Okay, I'm looking at my phone. There's like a lag. There we go. A lot better. Okay. Yeah, so it's actually really fun. And, uh, oh boy, this, uh, okay, right? So then, uh, to select it, you can't really, it's weird. So to select a new level, you have to quit the whole thing. So I haven't done this level ever before. Oh, wait, this is Serio Madness. This is like the first one. I mean, you know, like half of the game and half of the game is, uh, Music, but obviously music is missing. <sighs> I need to stop looking through the camera. <laughs> Just want to make sure that my calculator is aligned up and everything. But, uh, yeah. Yeah, that was a bad move. Alright, one more try. And uh, next to death, I'm just going to not... Retry, we'll move on to the next game. There's only two levels, by the way. And I died, so clear. PRGM and Calcuzap, number two. And uh, here's some info, you can pause it if you want to read it. And there's some cool graphics at the bottom. But there you go. Um, so yeah. I'll put the link in for the tutorial video below once I make it, but I'll I'll link all of the software, everything, um, you know, eventually or soon, actually, really soon. So if anybody wants to, so we hit enter. Oh no, wait, second, I'm dumb. It says so right there. Instructions. If it focuses, press. Okay, there we go. Oh, I remember. Okay. Okay, so we just spam. I remember how I played this one. So you just want to be careful, but you want to spam as you move. Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. And you can also move up and down, see? I just don't want to do that. I'm more comfortable being down here. Okay, so first level is basically almost done. All right. And the second wave, oh, oh man, yeah, it gets harder and harder. All right, and then, uh, there isn't really much to this. It's just your classic, like, game that just goes on forever kind of thing. Let's see how fast or how far you can go. Oh man, oh man, oh man, okay. Come on, last person. Done, right? So hit clear, or not clear, delete. Delete. For that one, it's delete. Okay, number three, fall down. And this one is like, here, it'll make sense. So it's just like you're, it's like one of those ball things. You just have to fall. And there's a score at the top, you know, it's like the time. You know? Oh, that one was close. Okay. Might be a high score. Ah, oh, okay. So you can... This one, this one, like, clear and stuff doesn't work, I think, so you just hit... You hit the second button on quit game, and that's how you quit it. Number four. Oh, something happened here. Okay, this is what I mean by the VRAM, or the RAM getting messed up. 
there's all that weird stuff at the top and then uh there's this the the fall down it's just there that just happens sometimes press any key to start and i'm pretty sure yeah it's second for this one enter enter works too those are the two buttons i know that work okay and i particularly don't i'm not really good at this really not good at flappy bird huh new high score oh there we go I don't like it. I'm not gonna play it. Clear and it's gone. So you clear a couple of times, it doesn't mess up anymore. Uh, this it just it's I don't know how to change the name, but I I think I'll just keep it. It's called Oiram. Uh, it's actually Super Mario. Let's see, Oiram by Matteo, and then there's some inst uh, controls at the bottom. So this one's particularly tricky to control. I think I've gotten the hang of it, but uh, basically. The alpha key is to sprint, and the second key is to jump. So, you know, in Mario, if you can, you can, you can sprint, jump, and like move left and right at the same time. So you move like right, you can left, right. You know, you move, you sprint, and then yeah, I guess you have to put your thumb. I guess the intention is you put your thumb like this, and you tilt forward as you're pressing alpha, in order to uh, to jump while you're sprinting. I haven't mastered it yet, so I actually suck at it a lot. And uh, okay, I need to not look through the phone. Look at the screen from the side. Okay, right. And then there's this, so I can go right. Okay, so I need I I'm okay. So I have to. I'm not I'm not like super good at it. It's kind of like a clunky controls. Uh. I don't mind though. So, there we go. And sprint jumping is an essential part of the game. Obviously, you can't get through the game without sprint jumping. And you can't actually fly, or I can't figure out how to fly. So somebody out there, if you're watching, can you comment? Because I can't seem to figure out how to fly. See, the up button doesn't do anything. It just does this weird thing. Um, down button does that. <sighs> Maybe there's, like, mode? It's not that. So, whatever. It is what it is. You know, it's just one of those things. And same here. You got it. Oh, I failed it. Yeah, okay. See? I'm not good at the controls. Control scheme is not the best. Oh, come back. There we go. Cool. Oh, that's unfortunate. Oh, oh, no, no. Oh, man. Dude, are you kidding me? Okay. I need to figure out maybe if I can remap the controls. Or maybe you can. I don't know. And I know the video was like super bad, but there's no, I have no choice, sadly. And there's no way to screen capture this thing because all of the, so what's running right now is a binary and uh, odd enough, the, the TI Connect software that comes with these calculators can screen capture, but that's when it's not running one of these games. So when it's running one of the games, uh, I guess the current like OS somehow gets overrided, and there we go. And it doesn't it doesn't um doesn't screen capture. It actually, the TI Connect software tells me that my calculator has been disconnected or that there's no calculator connected at all. So that just that just shows. I mean, you know. All right, there we go. We're at the end of this level. You can get some coins. 
And we go boop, boop, boop down the pipe. And here we are. So at the bottom it says level 002. So uh, in the screenshots, uh, it says there are... Great. The screenshot of the game on the website says that... Great. Whatever. The screenshot says level 5, which means that there are at least 5 levels to this game. And I just suck at it, but you know. Oh, great. I'm out of lives. <laughs> Uh, maybe I'll never get to level five, but you know, whatever. That was that was fun. That was one of the more addicting ones. Clear, not clear. Delete. There we go. Delete works. Clear, clear, clear. PRGM number six. So I can just hit the six. PRGM Pac-Man. This one's fun. You know, this is the stuff. You hit enter twice, and you're in the game. And now we get to play. And this is just arrow keys. I'm a lot better at this, obviously. Oh, no, 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 so close. Yes. Yes, there we go. They don't want to mess with me now. Okay. Oh, they're, they're coming. Okay. Pro gamer move right there. Right, cut across, do this area, All right, nice, cut over to over here, okay, they're afraid of me, last stretch, right here, solid, and now we hit delete, no. Mode? No. Clear. No. Oh, wait. Pretty sure you hit second. Second. There we go. Then you hit enter. Now you hit delete. There we go. Each game is programmed a little bit differently. <sighs> Number seven. Snake. And uh, focus on the text. There we go. You hit enter. No, I think it's second. There. This one's slow moving, and you just go across like that. But not going to blame the developer. So, I'll get to like 20. My score, 20, right? Or, yeah, max. I'll stop this. So this one is not particularly interesting, but... Uh, oh, you do die if... Uh, you do die... If you uh, eat into yourself. So we can't turn, like, you know. These are written in, uh, by, not, not binary, but in a machine. So assembly, which is, which is really hard. And I applaud, I applaud the programmers for making something even this simple because machine code is not very easy to, very easy to write. I almost ate myself there. Anyways, um, especially like the Super Mario, like that takes a lot of, that takes a lot of time and patience to write something like that. Um, because that is not an emulation. That is a port over. So somebody had to rewrite that, which takes a lot of time. Um, there is the, there is the Game Boy emulator, which somebody else also had to write. I mean, it's not really, it, it, it is the same thing though. Same difficulty. Assembly is really is a really difficult thing to uh to write in. So, I mean, hey, you gotta give them credit, right? And uh, there we go, twenty. So hit clear, and it's it's dead. You hit it twice, it's dead. PRGM eight. So this is color switch. I'm not good at this game. There's the app on the app store, but uh. Hit second. I'm not good at it at all. So you have to like... You can... Ah, uh, great. See? Enter. I'm not good at it. Oh, gotta be quick. Oh, gosh. Okay. This is as far as I've gotten. Oh, yes. Oh, man. Great. But yeah, you got the idea. 
quit, clear, clear gym, and that's it. I have no more. Um. So I mean, there are tutorials online, but um, but this is like my, my own little video I made. So, you know, just uh, like, comment, subscribe if you like this content. Um. Also, I have, uh, I'm gonna, like, uh, make a tutorial video so you can do it yourself if you want to. And, uh, it's only gonna be for the TI-84 Plus CE because each model of the 84, 83, or whatever you have, it's a little bit different. So, not all this stuff will run. Like, something made for the... TI-84 Plus won't run on the CE version, or the stuff made for the 84 won't run on the Plus, or the CE, so you gotta figure it out on yourself if you have a different model. But it should be pretty straightforward, and I'm not the first one to make a tutorial, so if you guys want to just do it, research on your own, you can. So yeah, hope you enjoyed the video.